I know a lot of you will remember my four English Bulldogs from the Day in the Life video I did about them when I started my channel. Well, that was back in 2015, and over the years, my wife and I were so lucky to have been blessed with all the amazing moments they had given us. But I'm saddened to say that since then, all four of them have passed on, with Clarence being the last to do so back in November of 2021. I know that this is news to a lot of you, and the truth is, I started working on a video about the amazing life of Clarence that he was able to live and share with us. I was using footage that we filmed on his 10th birthday, a month before he passed, when we decided to give him an awesome day visiting Asbury Park Beach for the first time. But I just couldn't bring myself to work on the video any longer, because it was making me so sad. The Bulldogs were such a big part of our lives, and after they passed, my wife and I decided that we weren't going to try and fill the void they left straight away. We were going to take time to ourselves and travel without the responsibilities that being a dog owner requires. And for me, it's been okay for the most part. I've enjoyed the freedom, and I've been able to travel to a bunch of different BMX events without the responsibility of having to worry about caring for an animal. I'm okay with just thinking back on the last 10 years I spent with those dogs, and it does bring a smile to my face. But my wife hasn't handled the time without the dogs as well as I have. She misses them. She misses their routine. She misses the way that they loved and needed her. It was clear that she needed it back in her life. And both of us sat down and we had a long talk about it all. And after the conversation, we decided that it was time that we were going to become dog owners again. But during our conversations, we decided that this time it's going to be a little bit different. We both agreed that we would never get another English Bulldog. We lived that already. We loved them and we just wanted to do something different. We started thinking about every type of dog and I started looking into rescue options, but there's a few factors that are playing into our decision and the biggest one being my handicap. We need a dog that doesn't require too much exercise and it has to be on the smaller side so it doesn't overpower me. We decided that it can't be a dog breed that is notoriously anxious or too vocal and it can't be a dog breed that requires too much attention. And after factoring all this together and doing as much research as we possibly could, we ended up back at a bulldog, but this time it's going to be a French bulldog. My wife has been obsessed with the idea of getting a French Bulldog for a long time now, and to be honest with you, I've never even pet a French Bulldog before. And after doing a ton of research about French Bulldogs, we realized that there's a lot of similarities with English Bulldogs, but there's a lot of differences as well. We're about to learn firsthand what French Bulldogs are really like by raising a puppy up. And we're going to try to give this puppy the best life we possibly can, and we're going to bring you guys along for this journey. So today is day one, and we're about to go pick him up, and we're going to introduce you guys to Benny. And this is little Ben. The cutest French Bulldog you've ever seen in your life. <laughs> um, it's been going pretty good so far. He's finally like getting used to us. Like he trusts us now, which is really cool. Um, at in the beginning, it wasn't the case. Like uh, I'll show you this footage of when we first got him outside of our house. Like he was just so skeptical of everything, just wouldn't even walk. And now he's just like so active, and he's like running around and playing, which is really cool to see because it's sad when you see him nervous but now he like he trusts us and he walks all over us and uh let me show you guys his coloring because uh he's all black but underneath his uh chest i don't want to upset him a little bit but you can see there's a couple little white spots underneath his neck as well and then on his paw right here is like a little bit of brindle like the tiniest little bit but yeah he's a man on a mission this guy just wants to explore everything and just have a good time i don't blame him I mean, he's only like, what, eight weeks on the planet Earth right now, which is kind of crazy. Um, once my wife gets back, we'll talk a little bit more about it all. But I figured I would just introduce you guys because I am on babysitting duty right now. So it's just me and him hanging out on the couch. I'm trying to get him to take a nap in a little bit because he's been running around like a little wild man. He's just so curious looking at his camera. And he's just like, what are you? What's going on here? Um, I just can't believe like how big his ears are <laughs> for like his body. It just looks so funny. In a, in a cute way. Funny in a cute way. Not in like funny like talking trash on him. I would never do that to little Ben. So as I'm sitting here like I'm just kind of going over it in my head of just how much work this is going to be on taking care of this little guy. Especially for somebody like me because since he's a little puppy right now and he needs help doing everything like I have to be in charge of like him. So like bending down to pick him up is, is extremely difficult. And like, I can't do much when I pick him up. I can't walk with him because there's a chance I might fall and I, there's a chance I might drop him because I can't control my hands well and I can't feel my fingers. So that's like the sad part about it. But my wife, she's like full committed. She understands how much work this was going to be and uh, how much work it was going to be just on her end. But um, <laughs> he sure is cute though. I'm sure you guys, are loving him through the, through the screens right now, but this guy is, he's awesome. He really is just a beautiful little animal. <laughs> it's really cool to see. So, uh, yeah, once my wife gets back, we'll talk to her about it and we'll see uh, her reaction to it. So how do you feel about having Ben now? 
Like, what, what are the feelings you have? Are you excited? Are you nervous? Are you <laughs> happy? What's going happy, through your mind? Happy, tired. It does wear you out, doesn't it? You take it? up all my time. But you're so darn cute. Is the cuteness overpowering it all? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he is pretty cute. What's your favorite part about him, would you say? Um, his cute little ears. When you say little, you mean really big? <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> his cute big ears. But I guess we should talk about this. Um, there's a lot of responsibility when it comes to having a dog. And a lot of you guys that are watching this, especially you younger guys, maybe that are, you know, around like 18 years old, and you guys are becoming adults, and you want to do adult things like getting a dog, I would definitely recommend going over, you know, everything that it takes to be a dog owner. Like, this guy is going to be our full-time job now. Like, we have to worry about him constantly. So if you're a kid, young person, like, you just factor that in because you become a grown-up real quick. And if you're okay with that and you're going to lose some freedom, then go on ahead. Just make sure you weigh out your options because it's, uh, it's, it's a lot harder to get rid of a dog than it is to get a dog. It's, uh, that's the truth. So he's been teething, that's for sure. So he's having, like, a lot of fun, like, chewing on these things. Come on, kitty, kitty, kitty. There you go. Yeah, chewing on a lot of things. <laughs> Look at him. How cute he is with his little toy. <laughs> it makes him happy. So we ended up taking Benny over to a Memorial Day party, and it was an awesome experience for him. He got to meet all of our family, and he had so much fun hanging out with everybody, and he was getting so much love. But he also got to hang out with some dogs, and a lot of different dogs that I think he's ever seen before. He was with a bunch of poodles, and he was also with my mom's dog, Eddie. Eddie's 60% poodle, but he's also like 12% Burmese, and he's also 8% Labrador, so he's a very interesting dog. And Ben loved Eddie. He was just following him around and having so much fun, except for when the two dogs started playing rough. Then he got a little nervous and he ran away. It was really cool to see how much Eddie liked to be around Ben, and it was awesome to see that Ben was wanting to be around Eddie too. At the end of the party, he was so worn out, and we figured he was going to be down for the night. But after taking a one-hour nap, he is back and ready to go. Check him out playing. He just wants to mess whatever he can up right now. He's just, he doesn't even know, look, he's just underneath his bed chewing, like, okay. he's a wild man. Chitui, get it, get it, get it. <laughs> he just goes from one thing to the next. Me and the craziest little French bulldog that ever <laughs> I just don't get what's happening with him. He's just a wild man now. His little heart's racing so fast. He's just so excited, so much energy. And we're going to have our hands full. Let me just say that. But I'm going to be wrapping it up for the night. Um, so the first night's going to be tricky because, uh, like, where we're going to keep him. We're trying to figure out, like, if we should try to, like, keep him in a crate or not. We don't know. I'm not too sure yet. But we're going to test that off the camera because it'll be kind of stressful with it on there. But I just want to just kind of introduce you guys to little Ben. And um, it's been a really cool day. And I am really excited to see what this guy grows into. But man, this is a wild little French bulldog. So I'm going to do my best to keep you guys updated with this guy. I'm going to put it in my regular videos, like towards the end of it, show you what he's been up to, how big he's getting. And uh, yeah, we'll keep you guys updated on him. So that's going to be it for us. We'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. <laughs> So like I was saying, this is our first French Bulldog. So if there's any French Bulldog owners that have any advice or anything that we should look forward to in the future when dealing with Ben, please let us know in the comments. We would love to get any help that we possibly could to give this guy a happy and healthy life.